Welcome to Options Tender. We are doing a video a little bit early today. We have some things to do after um, after the bell. So uh, I want to get this done and get this out to you so you'd have something to look at. But we will be back here in the morning. We're going to go over the SPX um, options expected moves so you can see our playing field uh, that we work with each week. And then uh, we'll go over put some lines on the screen, 65 minute, and just a couple of trade ideas that we had this morning that worked out well. I'll just go over those. So before we jump into it, go down to the bottom right hand corner and select the options tender logo and subscribe. If you like this information, please tap that like button. It helps us spread the word and spread the wealth by getting those algorithms moving our way. All right, let's jump into it. We have the options expected move here on the SPX, the mother of all indices um this is our playing field we have 95 this is where we start the week we have 95 points to the upside 95 points to the downside last week we did not touch that downside that kind of gave us a hint that we're looking to either consolidate or volatility is going to reduce and uh that's going to allow us to head to the upside now we um we are above the 20 moving day average the eight day we're above all averages right now we're looking to cross over in this macd let me move over here draw some lines okay so we had this nice resistance and that coincided uh right with that 20 ma um looking really good looking bullish i'm really liking this price action uh we do have an alternative um count if we need um looks like Oh, sorry, just the alert. Okay, I'm trying to cross over in the MACD. Everything's looking good. Everything is awesome. We could pull back. I'm looking for a pullback, but we do not have to. If we keep getting a rotation in the market, uh, going to small caps, oil, financials today, and then uh, let's say tomorrow we just move into tech again. If we keep doing that game, you know, this thing could just, it, it could keep going up six, seven days in a row. So let's move over on the ES 65 minute chart. See what's happening down in the nitty gritty. All right. We are working on our wave one. And what we think we have here is an expanded flat. Had to look that up. Uh, Elliott waves are fairly new to me. Um, I know the basics and, and you should check those out too. It's, uh, it, it helps, helps out kind of um, give us another layer of confidence when we're trading. So we have that wave one, two, three, four is expanded flat would be the wave five. So we may almost be done with this wave one. We might come up to the expected move um, up top here. I had to move it a little bit. It's not perfect uh, when you translate it from the ES to the SPX, okay? So we had to move it up just a little bit. Uh, we'll see where that goes. Right now we're at the point of control, 39.11. We've been at this point many times in the past weeks. Uh, so I'm not surprised that we revisited. Um, also, to end wave five, uh, we may touch this trend line up top. Uh, so just keep an eye out on that. So what happens at that point? How deep are we going to retrace? We brought out our retracement tool. If we get a pullback, if, you know, don't want to project um, we will take this and we'll put it, if it goes all the way up to expected move, we'll raise that up to wherever we start dipping. And uh, at that point, we'll be able to see, um, we'll, we'll look for 61.8 retracement, which could be anywhere in this range. We'll have to check it out in the morning, see what happens um, at the end of the bell here and overnight. But uh, yeah, everything's looking good. It looks like on a five minute, we have a um, ascending triangle. I was talking about that with one of one of my buddies on uh, Instagram there. So we got another sending triangle here on the five minutes. So that's why I think we're gonna go up just a little bit higher as soon as we break out of there. Maybe for the uh, last minute run, uh, last hour, half hour of the trading day. It's not, uh, it's not uncommon for that to happen. Okay, so let's go over to the daily. Let's check out just a couple names that we went through. Financials on fire once again, no surprise. So we had an ascending triangle that's um, on JP Morgan. Looks like we're we're almost ready to break out of that, just like the ES. Um, G Did I say ES? GS, but we're going to GS. <laughs> also ascending triangle there, MS. We had a symmetrical triangle, already broke out of that one. 
um, headed up there, about to make new highs. What else? Let's look over to when we want to. I'm just going to look at that one because I, yeah, because there's another symmetrical or uh, ascending triangle. So this is a big resistance here, though. If we break this, we're looking at uh, blue skies above there. So um, another, uh, we had a falling wedge somewhere. It was uh, RED. RED looking really good. And I missed this one, you guys. Uh, I, I was watching that this morning and it fell off my radar. Um, we had a falling wedge. And then we broke out. We're above the 8MA. We're above the 20. Um, I, I still may get into this. RED loves to trend. When it when it breaks out, it goes. All right. So looks like we're just about to cross on the MACD. That will probably be confirmed after today. Um, anything else we want to look at before we go? No, we're going to keep this one short. Um, we did have follow through on Riot. Let's see how that one's doing. I think we may have... Um, we, we might have closed out this trade. No, we're still in it. So Riot, uh, going into that gap there, looks like we might have a pause candle and maybe some follow through after that. All right. So thanks for joining us here. We're going to do another video in the morning. So we do this every morning, every evening. So hit that notification button. It will help us out. It'll help you out. Hopefully, let me know if it's not helping you out. All right. Have a good day. We'll see you in the morning.